listening to like out of the newer artists that's out right there? Uh, listen to Kendrick. Uh, listen to uh, Cole, J. Cole. And, you know, I've been in the business for so much time that a lot of people, like, like I'm, I'm kind of artist, but I won't listen to a record for five years after it come out. So I'm kind of a little different. But I, I support Trippy Red because he's from the O. Uh, yeah, pretty much everybody. I check everybody out. I listen to what everybody's doing. I listen to some of 21 Savage stuff. Um, some of the Migo stuff. Listen to everybody. You know what right. I mean? Because it's where I be at. I, I'm active. Right. You know, wherever the action at, that's where I be. Right. So speaking of the Migos, some little controversy, some little stuff that happened when I think it was Offset has said that the Migos was like the greatest rap group of all time. I felt like y'all had like some static about <laughs> that. Yeah, Lazy got all in his fucking feelings. Lazy got into his feelings about that shit. I think it was the second time when they said it. You know, Big Boy was out there starting shit. <laughs> Shouts out to my, my homeboy, Big Boy. <laughs> Big Boy neighborhood. But yeah, it was like the second time that they said it, I guess, Lazy felt a certain kind of way. And instead of keeping it on wax, they started talking about niggas not having no money. And, and 21 Savage came in and said he was gonna fuck somebody's wife. And it just, it got to the point where it's just disrespectful as fuck. Right. You know what I'm saying? So like, you feel like with this internet and how the rap game is kind of internet based now, artists could kind of be a little more disrespectful than like back in the day when like you might really have to just see somebody? Hell no, nah, man. It's, it's just a criteria of a motherfucker, man. Like, you know, my niggas is fighters. Like, they want to fight. Like, when the dude said it to Lay, Lay was like, I know where you live in L.A. Let's just, let's work. Let's just get this shit over with. You know, the dude wound up apologizing to Lay. But behind the scenes, nobody know that. So, you know, 21 Savage said what he said, but he apologized to that nigga like, like, so, there really wasn't no reason. 